Hi, it's Andrea from Clipside Kids. I am so glad that you've joined me today. Today is our first activity of our Earth Day activity series. Today we're going to be taking a look at pollution and how pollution can really affect our Earth and the organisms that live in our Earth. Today as I was walking my dog, I just took a look around me and saw all of the beautiful things It's important that we take care of these things. Today we're going to do an activity where you get to see firsthand the damage that pollution can do to a fish in a pond or a stream. So let's get started with our experiment. The first thing that we're going to need is a sponge. This is where mom or dad is going to need to help. It doesn't need to be a big sponge. What we're going to do is to cut this sponge into the shape of a fish. You also need um, either a glass bowl or a plastic bowl. It's better if it is clear that you can see through it. And the fish that you cut needs to fit inside without touching the edges. So that kind of lets you know um, what size shape to do. So go ahead, take your sponge and cut it into the fish shape. Now that you have your fish shape, it is time that what we're going to do is we're going to secure it in here so that um, it kind of stays stable. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a piece of thread and a needle to just stitch through the side of the front and then the back, and then I'm going to tape the other end of the thread to the outside of the container. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here you can see that I have attached each side of the fish to the outside of my container. Again, I just used a needle and thread just to go right through and just taped it to the side. You want it to be able to swing free like this so that um, he stays stable, but yet he won't sink into the water. So now that you have your fish ready, it is now time to add some water. And I'm gonna dump it so that it goes around the fish so we don't stress out the string with the weight of the water being poured onto it. And it is fine that he doesn't need to be totally submerged into the water, but he is probably in the water um, about, about half an inch or so. So now that your fish is ready, we are we're going to go on an adventure with Freddy um, downstream, and we're going to see how pollution affects him. So it's important that you have all of your other ingredients ready. I will put a list on the screen of all the things that you're going to need right now. Throughout the story, as Freddy comes across different things, you're going to add the ingredient to represent all of those different things. And at the end, we'll see the effect that our pollution has on Freddy. This is Freddy the fish. He is a happy fish that lives in crystal clear water enjoys the shade of the tall trees along the riverbank, and gets lots of insects to munch on each day. How do you think Freddy feels? One day, Freddy wondered what was beyond his little part of the river. He decided to go on a little journey and explore. He heads on downstream. He's ready to see the world. Along the river, Freddy first comes across a spot where bulldozers are taking out trees and clearing land. Soil and dirt roll into the river because there are no tree roots to hold the soil in place. Poor Freddy gets soil in his gills. Without the trees, Freddy notices he is feeling warmer. As Freddy continues down the river, he spots some black and white animals moving closer and closer to the river. While these animals are getting a drink, they drop a present into the water for Freddy. Freddy is not impressed with the smell or the sediment that is being stirred up. As Freddy rounds the corner, he has to dodge a golf ball that nearly lands in the river. 
the golf club likes to keep their courses looking nice, so they use a lot of fertilizer. Unfortunately, when it rained last, it caused it to run off into the river. Freddie noticed that this area had a lot of tall plants growing and actually was starting to feel smothered. However, Freddie is a trooper and charged on. He was determined to see all the river has to offer. After a while of swimming, Freddie began to notice a salty taste to the water and he started to feel the sting of salt in his gills. All the salt that was used on the roads in the winter had worked its way into the river. Ouch, it's hurting. How do you think Freddie is feeling? Freddie continues on and passes a picnic site at a local park. As he was passing, the wind began blowing litter into the river. Freddie is starting to feel a bit distressed, but he keeps moving on. It begins to rain, and Freddie notices this rain is different. It turns out this rain is acid rain caused by the air pollution. On the river's edge, Freddie comes across an old abandoned factory. There are a lot of toxin, toxic pollutants and rusty materials seeping into the river. This causes a sludge in the river. Freddie tries to swim through it. After struggling, Freddie finally gets through the toxic pollutants in the river. Along the side of the river, Freddie notices a man dumping oil from his car into the river. The oil gets into his gills and he starts to have difficulty breathing. He gasps and takes his last breath. From this simple activity, you can see how even tiny decisions made by humans ended up having a very large impact on Freddy. And even though in the beginning just a little bit of dirt in the water or a little bit of pollution didn't hurt him, in the end when it all piled up it was just too much for him. I'm so glad that you did this activity with me today. There is also an extension activity that you can do. It's a writing and an art activity where you can um, think about the activity we did and then create a poster with the ways that you can help take care of our earth and keep it clean and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.